your management Revit utilities transfer. Transfer is similar to manage transfer project standards, except we can save off our settings. With the transfer, we can browse for a file to pull the information from. We create a new action list, which defines the information we wish to pull into our current project. We can create multiple lists. We name the list. Say walls here. Check none. And we'll select the walls. Hit save. Now each one of these actions can be saved off individually by saying file, save. And we create an XML file that we can use in other projects and pull that information into a new project or an existing project. So now we'll go and say new action, resets everything. We'll create a new action, call it ceilings. Check none and we'll select ceiling. We'll save that off. Now, since they are both listed here, when we save off this information, if we just do a save, it saves both of these data transfer configurations in one XML file. We can also remove and create a file for each type of object or each type of setting we wish to pull from one file to another. We we'll close this dialog box when we're finished. And now you can see that walls and ceilings show up in this list because the walls XML is selected. I saved both of these settings these actions in one XML file. You can always open other XML files. So for example, this test here, duct and ceilings, right? So test walls, you see how we switch between them. Then we select transfer to transfer those settings to the current model that is open. Unlike the transfer project standards that's built into Revit, we have to have both files open in order to transfer the information from one file to another. With using the Imagine Revit utility, transfer, we can save off actions that we can use from project to project. Thank you.